Hello guys, um, I've lost my microphone so hope you can hear me all right. That was exhausting, exhilarating and I guess absolutely everything it was billed to be. Two strong attacks against two weak defences. Arsenal looked the weaker of the two for much of the first half but Liverpool's frailty eventually showed when we managed to put a few passes together and put them under some pressure. We saw just how weak they can be in defensive areas. It ends 3-3. I mean, we've got to be pleased to take a point because at half-time and certainly at 2-0 down, it really felt extremely unlikely. Then there was that glorious five minutes we got back to 3-2. The fact that there were more goals in the game, the equaliser, comes as no surprise whatsoever. If anything, it was kind of a surprise that ended there, but maybe there was a sense from both teams of, look, this could have been embarrassing for us for different reasons. What we have, we hold. Let's just play it out and take a point, sort of as we were in terms of the top four. I'll try and go through the goals. The first one, Salah wasted it away around, down the right. So much was made of him being up against Maitland Niles before the game. But Maitland Niles was caught up the field there, wasn't involved. And it was Salah in a foot race with Koscielny. Only one winner, his deflected cross headed home by Coutinho. To be honest, the fact that it was 1 0 at half time felt miraculous. Czech was responsible for that with some excellent saves. Uh, Mane missed a good chance with an overhead kick. We were a little bit profligate. They were a little bit profligate, rather. Um, we were not profitable, but I don't think we had a shot on target in that first half. Um, Christmas music. The mood's quite buoyant here, to be honest, because it was not a half time. Plenty of booze. Chet made another save to my Salah at Sal the start of the second half. Then eventually Salah got the goal. Again, Maitland Niles was up the field. You know, we thought we'd use his pace to stop Salah, but Salah's movement and ability to sense the counter attack meant that they were never really in a direct race. Again, it was up against Koscielny. Koscielny struggled, deflected shot, 2 0. And to be honest, at that point I was thinking this could be anything 4 5 6. We looked so vulnerable. But Alexis Sanchez, who's been having a terrible game, honestly could not keep the ball for Toffee or anything else for that matter. I don't know how he feels about Toffee. He couldn't keep the ball for goal. Whatever you offered him, he couldn't do it. He met, uh, there was a Shackler back heel, a Bellerin cross, and an Alexis header. Three players have been having a torrid time out there. 1 1. Then Shaka from long range, Mignolet should have saved it, didn't. It's like we found the weak link in their armour, and it was Simon Mignolet. We were exploiting it. And then a brilliant Urzel goal, 3 2. The place was rocking. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, and I don't think Liverpool could either. They recovered, Firmino got that goal, Czech got a hand to it. I think you have to deem him unlucky, especially given what else he contributed to the game. Uh, what else to say? Nothing really, guys. I mean, it was mad. We were a mess at the back. We went with four at the back to give us an extra man in midfield, and yet today at times we looked like we had no midfield whatsoever, particularly in that first half. I had a lot of flashbacks to quite how bad we were with the back four. I sort of remembered today. We don't know how to do that either. <laughs> We can't defend, it doesn't matter the system, but it's Christmas guys, I'm going to be pleased with the point, and I'm going to rest, see if my heart settles down, I hope you can still hear me, have a lovely Christmas guys, uh, thank you for watching these videos, thanks for following and doing all those sorts of things, subscribe, that could be a present to me, He's just a I'm going to go. Bye, Merry Christmas.